Hey everyone and welcome to another Barracadere video. We're here on the Pluto re Relay, which I think is Orcas. And we're going to check out his wares this time around. Now, it does come with two brand new items, which are the Prisma Cavaclyph and Kubroglyph. They're very, very cheap and they're very good looking. So, you know what? Absolutely pick these up, especially if you are a fan of your doggo or your caddo. They are very, very good looking. So, And like I say, they're cheap. 80 ducats, 50,000 credits. Not too bad whatsoever. We've got the Gorgantosin skin, which is beautiful looking. Absolutely love this thing. It is expensive, 300 ducats, 300,000 credits. But it goes over the Gorgon, the Gorgon Wraith, and the Prisma Gorgon. So, you know, it has a few options to use it on, like, multiple things. So it does justify its price a little bit more, I guess. But since the Prisma Gorgon is here this time around as well, it does go very, very nicely with the two. Then we've got the Harkonar Wraith set. The cloak, uh, well, like I say, it's the set. Cloak is incredibly expensive, 400 ducats, 500,000 credits. The shoulder armor, 350 and 150,000. The chest piece, 300 ducats, 250,000 credits. And the leg armor is 350 and 150,000 credits. So that's what, 1,200 ducats and about a million credits for the whole armor set? It's very, very, very expensive. But since, you know, if you're doing a grenier based frame, and these are colorable, like it doesn't, in the preview, it doesn't color them properly, but it does actually, um, it does actually color, so you can actually make it look really, really nice depending on your color scheme, so you're not forced to use that sort of red, um, wraith look anymore. I think it is a good looking armor set, especially if, like I say, if you're doing a grenier based three, uh, a grenier based frame. So, I would say... You know, if you like it, grab it. If you are looking at saving, then this is a very expensive set. Then we've got the Prisma Scimitar skin, which is incredible looking. 450,000 credits. No, very, very expensive, but this is one of the best looking skins out there. I love the Prisma effects going on. I love this base color it's got going on as well, which I still don't know what it is. But yeah, it's, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Look at all the, like... Oh, it's so good. I really, really like it. 100% recommend grabbing this while it's here. We've got the Prisma Sigil, which is... I mean, it's alright. It's cheap, though, so 50 ducats, 50,000 credits. Might as well grab it while it's here if you like it. Um, problem with Sigils is you've only got two slots on your frame, so you've got to like it a lot if you're going to be using it. Uh, Prisma Arrows. These are actually pretty cool. They look kind of brutal as well, since... They look like they're designed to go in and not be pulled out again, which is actually the design of a lot of arrows. Um, but it is very, very cool looking. 350 ducats, 75,000 credits. It's very expensive on the ducats for a skin for your bow. Especially since most of the time you can't really see it. So it's one of those things, I guess, if you like it, then you might as well grab it. But uh, if you're, again, if you're like looking at saving on ducats, that might be somewhere where you can actually save. Redeemer Elixir skin absolutely adore this thing the elixir set on like the opticore and i think the odinata has one as well uh, you might have to correct me if i'm wrong on that one but it looks incredible it is expensive not gonna lie 325 ducats 250,000 credits but since we had the prime come out recently and i guess maybe unpopular opinion here i think this looks better than the prime I would say absolutely, if you love your Redeemer, I would absolutely recommend picking this up. Uh, moving on from there, the Gene Masking Kit for your Kavat. Um, I will put up a... I mean, you can see it pretty well here in terms of like the actual pattern for your Kavat. It's actually one that I used for quite a lot of time. Quite a long time on my Kavat. In fact, I think it's still my most used one on my Kavat. Oh no, I'm using the Moon, the moon one from um, Cetus now. But this actually was the one I used for a very, very long time on my Kavat, so I really, really do like it. The colours, white, blue, red, purple, so it's very, very, like, good colours, I guess. And, uh, yeah, so if you like your Kavat, you like fashion framing your Kavat, 200 ducats, 300,000 credits is a little on the steep side, but, you know, it's here if you want it. We've got the Katir E-piece and the Katir Solo E-piece. The Solo is basically the single version of these. This is the best preview ever. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. That makes sense. Um, I will put up an image showing the um, the solo earpiece, I guess. Yeah, the solo's got the same problem. 
because I've got the Umbra tout scarf thing on. As you can imagine, uh, the Katiri piece, 500 ducats, 400,000 credits, and the solo is half that because you only get one of them. Very, very, very expensive. Like 400,000 uh, credits and four, 500 ducats for some diamond-shaped earrings for your operator that you don't see very often. Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass, I'll be honest. Uh, moving on from that, mods. The primed expel mods are back. Expel mods are something that if you want to switch your modding around based on who you're fighting, can be extremely useful. I've done a video showing how useful they can be because there was a lot of misinformation um, around these mods as to their actual usefulness. So I decided to do a video on it a while back and I'll link that in the description below. But if you're not someone that changes their builds based on who you're fighting, honestly, these might not be for you. And since they're 350 ducats and 140,000 credits each, it, again, if you're looking to save, this could actually be an area you actually save in. Because, like I say, you're not going to get any use out of them if you don't actually switch your builds around depending on who you're fighting. So, it's uh, somewhere you can save if you want to. We've got two weapons this time around, I think. Scrolling down, yep. Prisma Veritex, which is, I mean, it's an Arcwing melee weapon. I might do a video on this, um, because I've never done a video on the Prisma Veritex, but I might do one. It's the same as every other Arcwing melee build. The weapon isn't particularly outstanding, because none of them are particularly outstanding or interesting. Um, but it's here if you are looking to increase your mastery. <laughs> 550 ducats is a lot for this thing. 150,000 credits. I mean, I don't like. I mean, I don't like it. I don't like Arcwing Melee in general. I mean, you might as well just use the um, the Centaur. Is it Centaur? Um, I think it's called, and just be done with it. Um, but you know, that's just the uh, the nature of Arcwing weapons right now. I don't even think it looks that particularly that good looking, does it? I don't even see any. Is there any Prisma effects going on anywhere? I don't even see any. Oh, there might be actually on the blade, but. Not, like, obvious enough for me to actually say that this is... No, there isn't. There's nothing going on. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, it, there's no <laughs> no redeeming feature for that for me, unfortunately. However, Prisma Gorgon. I love this thing. Absolutely love it. It's not the best weapon in the world, but my god, is it fun. Plus, you have a really high ribbon disposition, so you can actually make it very, very good if you have a good ribbon. So, I would recommend this. Is expensive, 600 ducats is a lot. 50,000 credits isn't too bad though. 100% grab this uh, if you can, no, if this is the only thing you can grab, I would grab this. I find it huge amounts of fun and just playing around with this has been, uh, yeah. So I mean, I've had a, a huge amount of fun doing, which is really, really like what it's all about, to be honest. And even if you don't like it, it's an it's extra mastery towards your next mastery rank. So, you know, why not, I guess? And I think that's actually it. I mean, you've got the the beacons as well. So if you're looking for the parts from these uh, from these guys, just pick up some beacons. I actually need to pick some beacons up, to be honest, um, because I do like helping people out occasionally if they're missing uh, bits and pieces. So I do try and pick these up when I can. Um, but if you don't really need them, then I guess this is another area where you don't really have to buy them. So. And that's basically it. It's a bit of a disappointing inventory from Barrow this time around. Two new glyphs uh, at a time where we don't have a huge amount of content. Um, hopefully the dev stream this evening will um, show us a whole bunch of what's upcoming. Uh, I was kind of hoping we might get a weapon today, but I guess not. But, you know, onwards and upwards. Thank you all for watching today. I'm going to have a video out on the Division 2 beta in the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, so look forward to that and some Art Queen weapon reviews next week, I guess. But for now, many, 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 many thanks for watching and I shall catch you in the next one.